Hello, this video that um, I'm going to do today is on an application um, called Widget Locker and it is a locker for your phone um, but the main idea behind it is that you can put all kinds of widgets on it to design a widget locker. So in order to um, begin to use Widget Locker, uh, you have to tap the Widget Locker icon. And if you look in this top right corner here, you see the uh, settings button. You hit the setting, setting. Uh, widget Locker is written here in green at the top. Um, you're going to have to turn it on. Of course, I already am utilizing it, so I turned it on already. And you just tap the slider, turn it on. And inside of the settings, it gives you a whole bunch of different options. Um, you have buttons and inputs that basically um, tells your hardware um, button how to function. If you have a camera button, you can turn it to a certain function. Your volume button and your home and your menu and your uh, back button can also uh, be utilized. Uh, based on what you set it here. Look and feel has everything to do um, with how uh, it looks. Um, and you can also set an alternate wallpaper if you look here at the top. Um, you can do background tint, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you can tell it how tinted to be at the top as well as the bottom. One can be darker or lighter than the other. Um, I have no tint because I like the transparency. I like being able to see the wallpaper that I have um, already on my um, home screen through the widget locker. Um, but if you use the alternative, you could put a tint on it just the same way. Um, layout here gives you the option of if you add icons to your phone, this will be what the grid will show you what the icons will look like. So if you change the numbers here, um, well, we got it set for automatic, but if you change the numbers, see the, uh, the phone on the top left actually changes along with what I show. So this is how big your icons can be on your phone if you were to use um, icons, but we said do automatic. I think that works for me and um, then you have behavior if you want notifications in each of your icons you can do um, the notifications here pop-ups for your SMS incoming calls you can say what they will do and then you can back up and restore here it, it gives you the backup location um, on your phone as well which is cool because then you can find where it is and then you can come back out and um, this uh, clock that I have is the standard clock that comes with widget locker um, of course um, I've done some of my own editing to it so let's go ahead and see what that looks like you press edit um, you can change the font here these are all the different font options that come with it um, and if you change it, it just simply does that. Slide inside. Uh, we have this very easy. Um, you can show whether or not you want AM and PM to show. Um, you can change the format to um, what you want it to look like. Uh, you can change the font color, background as well, how transparent you want it. You can show battery percentage. Um, show your next alarm and you can change the font color on the bottom here and this was the design that I liked um, for the background that I currently have as well and so you see that you can see my um, wallpaper that's on my home screen is on my lock screen because I didn't choose an alternate wallpaper uh, the other thing that um, I like about it is very easy to add and remove widgets so I can just remove that widget there um, you can add applications um, to it. We'll just add some applications really quickly so you can see what that's like. Um, uh, the problem 
that I find with adding the applications is that this is your lock screen. So um, this is what you get to, um, your phone's supposed to be locked with your lock screen. Problem that I have with just putting the apps here is that if you accidentally tap it, taking it out of your pocket, putting it in your pocket, or um, taking it off your clip, I have a clip for my phone, you accidentally touch these apps, they're gonna open. Um, so it kind of delete. it kind of, uh, I just keep pressing edit, I mean press edit. It kind of um, defeats the purpose of having a lock screen if you do um, just the applications there. I would probably use that more if I had a tablet and I was using widget locker on my tablet. I would probably use the icons um, on my tablet. So what I do is I have applications, but what I did is I did them on a slider. Um, and what the slider does is if I tap it, all they do is blink. Nothing happens because in order for these applications to open, I have to slide them. So one of, I can show you two different things here. You can go into the custom slider and uh, these are themed as well. So let's say we wanted to, we see these themes that we have and we say, eh, I want to get, you know, something a little different. You can go to XDA developers. They actually have the link inside the app, which is really cool. You press that and you get to the website and it has uh, a complete page just um, devoted to widget locker themes. Um, all of these are different themes here. Um, this is a theme. That's a theme. Um, but let's just say we wanted to try this theme here, right? So we select it. Widget Locker comes up as an option when it starts to download. Select Widget Locker, and it does just that. It goes to Widget Locker. So you see it has the little dots on each side here. Um, and when we go back to Widget Locker, you can go back into the custom slider, touch themes, and that should now be an option. Simple three. That was what it was called. If we select it, there you have it. So if we select it and press done, there it is on our widget locker home screen. Now, right now, it's just an unlocker. So if we took this and slid it over, it would unlock the phone, right? But let's say we wanted to uh, do something different with it. We could resize it and make it smaller. And um, let's say we wanted to add applications to it so we can edit it and and then we just slide it we use it as a slider and then it determines what that side will be so let's say we want this side to be a shortcut um, and the shortcut could be um, for my battery indicator right we can also go into the icons. You can download different icon packs and they all work with Widget Locker, or at least 90% of the ones that I downloaded. Um, I have so many I'll actually show you, but you can use the default, which is the one that comes from the Google Play Store. You can use the ones that are built in that come with Widget Locker. So because that's a battery program, uh, I thought that they would have a battery one here, but they don't. Um, have anything that indicates battery. You can back out of that. You can choose if you've downloaded an icon image from your gallery. You can choose your gallery. And it'll simply just pull up your gallery. You choose it. Um, files. Um, if you had a file, if it was inside of your file. But since I downloaded all these different icon packs, we might as well go ahead and um, utilize that. So, um, Let's say, let's just use something like this. Uh, and I mean, the icon packs sometimes have hundreds of icons, so they may take a second to come up. Um, 
sometimes they'll have them listed in categories as you see this does here um, system apps so that's the battery is more than likely under here and maybe miscellaneous uh, it's not under me see me any of those not under game Well, let's just choose that. So, the icon didn't change. I wonder why. Let's see. It didn't change the icon. Oh, I think that it didn't change. I don't know why it didn't change the icon. Now I want to try. I'm thinking that the reason why it didn't change the icon is because you chose a shortcut for that um, and maybe it doesn't do it for the shortcuts let's see let me come over here um, we're going to make this an application on the right side so I just selected the right side and we're going to uh, make it the calculator we can select the icon from the icon packs um, let's see. Um, Frozen News, Apps, Games, Google, System. Should be easy to find. Uh, I have any. Guess they don't have any under these days. They didn't come up. Mm. It's a calculator. Right. I don't see anything. It looks like a calculator here. And they seem like they're in alphabetical order. C. Crackle calculator. Well, we'll do the clock. So that changed. So the only thing I can think is that, let's see, if we choose to do a shortcut. Um. do direct dial and we choose to do a shortcut select my sister with her number and it's now a shortcut let's see can I do that right oh there we go that picture shows up now let's see if we wanted to do an icon to just have a phone receiver of some sort say oh yeah so I don't know why that one isn't changing but ultimately that's how you change them some icons I guess don't change oh there it is so it didn't change there but it changed once you put it on the home screen and so now you have um, the sliders and now if you slid that over it asks me do I want to call and what do I want to use I don't want to call her right now um, so that's how you create applications with a slider or how you change the slider um, on it as well um, I'm going to remove that because I have my music widget which is another thing you can do of course you can do music widgets and alarms anything that's a widget you can choose it um, I'm using Jack's music widget I select that and then I enlarge it by resizing it to the space that's there now the other cool thing I thought about with using this um, is I have a video wallpaper so let me do uh, live wallpaper 
and let's choose the video one and we're going to press apply and so there is the wallpaper and you can even have a video wallpaper show on your lock screen so if you use the wallpaper that comes with the um, home screen you can have a video um, wallpaper so there's so many different things that you can do um, with this widget locker I think it's really cool it's really um, one of the most customizable ones that I've ever seen and uh, I hope that this video helps someone thank you for watching bye bye